Welcome to the AWS Technical Essential Certification. My name is Anand Rao and I will be your instructor for this course. The first thing that I would like to tell you is just a little bit about myself. I've been an instructor for about a decade, but I've been in IT for over 16 years. My background is pretty varied and I've worked in data centers, servers, networking, storage, virtualization in Hyper-V and VMware world, and lots of my career has been dedicated to Active Directory. Scripting has been a part of my career as well, where I work with PowerShell scripts a lot. So now that you know about me, let's talk about the course. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about the cloud. I will start by saying that this course is really designed for the absolute beginner. Now there are two paths that you can take. So if your background is that you are a professional, maybe in the sales professional or a finance guy or someone who works in the non-technical role but would like to have the knowledge of AWS so that you can then work in the technical roles, then this course is for you. This course also gives you that extra technical background that you're looking for, which you'll be getting with the help of hands-on labs and demonstrations that we're going to do as we progress in this class. So if it sounds like this course is for you, I would just like to say welcome. We're going to have lots of fun as we go through this course and we are going to give you everything you need to help you keep your feet warm in the world of Amazon Web Services. So with all of that, I'm going to go ahead. I intend to start this course from the very basics, from the very ground up, so that you can understand the primary benefits of cloud, the nitty gritties of the cloud terminologies used in today's world, and then we slowly introduce Amazon Web Service services to you. For example, we'll talk about IAM, which is Identity and Access Management, Virtual Private Cloud, Elastic Compute Cloud, which falls under the Compute section. And then as we understand that, we'll talk about the different kinds of storages available in today's world in Amazon. One of the key characteristics of cloud computing is elasticity and scaling. So we'll talk about that as well. How do you balance the load between the web servers with the help of elastic load balancer is something that we're going to understand as well. We'll learn about the critical services like DNS, CloudFront, and Route 53 as well in the second half of the course. Well, provisioning infrastructure is not sufficient. You also got to monitor them, log them, and set up notifications as well. So we'll learn about how do you use CloudWatch for monitoring, CloudTrail for auditing and logging, and notifications using simple notification services. Amazon, of course, has database services in the form of SQL and NoSQL. We call them as RDS and DynamoDB. We'll then jump into caching services in the database section called as ElastiCache and the data warehouse component, which is Redshift. Today, we are moving on to a serverless world where organizations would like to build their modern applications using serverless services like AWS Lambda. We cannot leave out security because there are hackers out there who are eyeing on your critical intellectual properties. So we need to understand what services AWS is offering as far as security is concerned and compliance is concerned. It's important to understand the AWS shared responsibility model and how AWS provides security and compliance. We'll also talk about the KMS service and other services as well, which are important to note. Finally, to end this discussion, we'll also talk about pricing and billing and understand how will you get charged for the services that you're using. What are the best practices there? In the end, I'll also walk you through certain white papers and documentations that are there that would be helpful for you as part of your reference and also as part of your technical growth. So let's get started.